Hello all you junkies out there. This is uh, Paul and Maggie's inside still taking a nap. Uh, we've been doing a lot. Uh, we are here right along the Kodu River and as you can see it's actually pretty high right now uh, but it is, does have a little ways to go uh, I think before high tide um, it does come up about another foot more but all of these houses here all over on this uh, on that side and all along this road here, all of these houses here, as you can see, somebody already boarded up their house. Uh, there was just, this this water came up in this whole road. Basically, I would have been pretty much up to my neck in water right now, where I'm standing. And uh, yeah, it did come up. And uh, yeah, the, all these people had to clear out their houses. There was just piles and piles and piles of debris. Right now, there's just some stuff. But you go down this road here, Grand Boulevard, and it was just a total, a total mess. A sad loss of personal property and everything else. Um, but yeah, right here on Grand Boulevard, it follows the river, uh, all the way up to 19, and all the way that way to Sims Park, and, uh, it, the water did come up to here, but if you notice, there's a little bit of an elevation there. So, we are gonna be keeping an eye on Graham Boulevard and Cody River while Milton comes in and hopefully <laughs> it doesn't make it over that hill there which I checked is about 15 feet I think at that point so the storm surge has to be at least 10 feet if not more to get over that hump there and that goes all the way there's actually a hump right here uh, right before Washington because when Helene came through Washington right here there was no damage uh, as you can see just some trees and branches and stuff that people left out and then Washington, I don't know how it does this, but it goes from there to there. And Washington, you drive that way down Washington. And nobody had any of their stuff uh, taken out of the houses and left out for a pickup or anything like that. <laughs> Primarily... Uh, the damage was just localized really to the Cody River. Uh, we were luckily spared with Haleen. Uh, hopefully Milton, looking at the fact that Milton is heading south of Tampa, uh, we should be on the good side of Milton. 
um, storm surge uh, all the winds will be blowing that way to the Gulf and pushing the storm surge further out or not letting it come in uh, on our side on the north side of the storm so but we will keep you up to date guys and uh, let you all know what happens with Milton and us here in Newport Ritchie it's Tuesday 308 and all is well with us so far yeah. as you can see behind me we don't have anything really to worry about out that way is the Gulf and yeah that's what I said out that way behind me is the Gulf and uh, yeah, I'm getting wet out here, so. <laughs> I don't like rain. <laughs> I don't like getting wet with rain. So, um, update, the latest update, which was, I think, about an hour ago. Uh, National Hurricane Center. We should be only experiencing up here in Pasco County a storm surge of, uh, I think it said, three to five feet which is even better and uh, winds of 45 to 60 miles an hour with gusts up to 75 also not bad tropical force winds tropical storm winds yeah yeah see it's not going to be that bad yeah we may show you a little bit later on i don't know um, again it's not supposed to hit for another nine hours or so nine to eleven hours yeah somewhere between midnight and two o'clock in the morning and it's gonna hit uh, right now predicted around Sarasota Bradenton area um, and the cone is shrinking so but luckily we are completely out of the cone by about at least 25 miles so even if it does shift it would have to shift at least 25 miles before we would be inside the so-called cone of uncertainty um, I think it's gonna pass by probably at least 60 miles south of us you can see it, it is a little bit windy but not much that we can't deal with right now we are all prepared. We're gonna get ready to have some fun. Have a hurricane party. Like all us other Floridians do. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. Just a brief little update for you. It's uh, actually, it is Wednesday. Uh, I think in the previous clip I said it was Tuesday. It's actually Wednesday. It was Wednesday at uh, 3.08. Now it's uh, 4.30, also Wednesday. And uh, the wind is starting to pick up a little bit and we still have rain. Uh, I checked at the lowest point over there and there is still no water down there. And the river hasn't come up yet. But I don't expect it to be bad because the latest National Hurricane Center said from uh, Arapica, which is north of us, all the way down to Anclote, we'll only see a three to five foot storm surge, which means that, again, just like Colleen, the river and uh, Grand Boulevard and, and all the houses on the river will probably be flooded out again. But uh, right now, I'm just getting quite wet. And you can see that uh, the rain is pouring. The wind is blowing. But it's not that bad. It's actually uh, quite refreshing. I don't think we needed all this rain though. But uh, yeah, we're uh, just hanging out here. We got this one tree here to indicate 
how strong the winds are. Plus we got those trees way over there to indicate how strong the winds are. And uh, so far we probably haven't seen anything in the neighborhood of 40, 50 miles an hour. Probably closer to 20, 30. But it's going to be raining like this for the remainder of the evening. 6, 12. And still mainly just rain. And the wind is picking up a little bit. But. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get out of here, so in case another one falls. Yeah. Some more branches falling off because of the direction of the wind and bending them really good. Whee! <laughs> Yay! Lots of fun. Uh, well. I'm getting wet anyway, so let's go over here and check over here. Yeah, looking the same. Yeah, wind's coming head on from this direction, from the east. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Uh, 707 and uh, well we're gonna take a little walk around and yeah it's the morning after the Sun is not quite up yet um, yeah the Sun likes to sleep in later when the winter comes who knows why but let's go take a look and see um, some of the damage that uh, good old Milton has done around our place I'm gonna go take a walk over here. And as you can see, there's uh, some tree branches over here. Now watch out for the hole where the septic is. Let me go get some shoes. Right, let me take the light then. I'll take the light so that way I can shine exactly where we need to see it. Another branch here, a little branch here, some little branches all over the place over here, another branch over here, some more branches over here, another big branch over here, a couple of big branches over here, another branch, but really not too much damage that has occurred that wasn't realizing we did lose the cover on our grill and if you noticed back here we got uh, the sandbags with the plastic uh, but some of the plastic came off yeah we lost our uh, grill cover so hopefully it's not too bad eh. I need to get that replaced but the most important part is what happened out in the front in the street so let's walk our way over there to the front oh I didn't notice that the fence collapsed back there sit 
and they're gonna walk back there. But uh, yeah, in the front, not too much happened up front here. <coughs> Some more branches and stuff, which is normal. But this over here. is uh, currently all flooded. We do have some more stuff here, but the corner of the street is all flooded because of the rainwater. And right back there is all swampy areas. But as you see, well, let me get over here. not that bad as the last time we got flooded I mean the last time we were flooded it was halfway up the parking lot this time it's only right up to here <laughs> so we can still pull out and in and go that way if we wanted to but that way is all flooded There's a whole bunch of debris here in the road. We're gonna go take a ride down towards the river.
it just looks like a lot of debris. But the river didn't uh, look like it come up too far. And hello. Oh. Yeah. And over there. Holy cow. Wow. And that was a big tree too that was standing there. That's weird how it didn't knock the it didn't knock the power down. lines down. Yeah. I guess that was a branch that was stemming out underneath. Or maybe it was right there and it got uprooted. Go down that way. Uh no. Oh, uh, why not? Because I want to get back home. Oh, Yikes. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. Washington, watch out. That happened, I think, with Helene. And this is why uh, just be on, on that side is where we live. Over there somewhere. But, yeah, that's why our street is a little bit flooded. way have a little bit more light to see what's been going on it's now 7:44 and just came back from a little ride around the neighborhood down to the river and uh, yeah this we have parts of that tree that fell down and landed on the fence we had parts of this tree fall down and as you can see bits and pieces walking on it all over here but that seems to be the extent of the damage. Uh, backyard, just a whole bunch of limbs. Just looking at the roof. Making sure nothing is on the roof there. Um, everything seems to be okay over here. Yeah. Acorns. Yay. <laughs> 